All right. I'm not, I'm not even going to make a bingo card. I remember somebody um, was talking about a bingo card um, like yesterday. Uh, I'm not even going to make a bingo card, dude. Wait. Can I increase the size of the video screen? Like, what is going on? Hello? They got the comments turned off. There's no live chat display. They know everyone's going to be pissed. Keep in mind, look at that like to dislike ratio. 19K likes, 163 dislikes. Watch that shit skyrocket towards the end of this. <clears throat> Less so, ooh. Less so, ooh. Uh, Sophie, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. So what I'm hearing is that they're going to cut the Pokedex again. Bro, don't tell me you're one of them motherfuckers. Oh, the little, the little. Any second now. Give me my Battle Frontier. Bro. There be people out here that be putting their arms up in the sky talking about where's the national decks. But y'all wouldn't even complete the Pokédex. So shut your ass up. I don't want to hear nobody talking about some where's the national decks. Y'all don't even complete the Pokédex. Y'all, y'all. Oh, what's up, man? What's up, Owl? How you doing? I hate the song that they put in the these fucking videos. They're so fucking annoying and unesthetically pleasing to the ear. What the fuck is that shit? Who the fuck did they hire on Fiverr to make this shit? You can imagine some YouTube representative was emailing random motherfuckers on Fiverr like, like, yo, can you make a beat just so, so we can have a countdown and shit? You said, we want our Lopini hentai. You said, uh, you have closed captioning on. On what? Don't you want closed captioning? You guys love reading subs. Not, not, now you guys are not anime fans in the chat. Not, now you're telling me to not have subs. Come the fuck on, dudes. <laughs> you guys love closed captioning. Okay. You said it's not even accurate, though? Hey. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I just hate the music. I, I just I just muted it. Okay. Time to get disappointed. Hello everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. First, we'd like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon Unite. Haha, <laughs> you guys called it. The Nintendo They're gonna talk about Unite. The game has already been released, and the release of the mobile version has now been set for September 22nd. 
In anticipation of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. Nintendo Switch and mobile device users can play together in Pokemon Unite. We hope as many people as possible will be able to enjoy playing it together. Players will also receive special gifts in their game. That's a cute Pikachu number. outfit. That's cute. For the mobile version, thanks to a special campaign happening now. We hope That's cute. Register and look forward to the mobile release. That is a cute Pikachu outfit. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as a launch bonus. The Unite license can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. Oh, so you could link accounts to the mobile version. Okay, it's confirmed. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. Oh, preview to Mamoswine? That should look kind of broken. Oh, Sylveon, that's cute. All right, so, so two new additions. Look forward to more from Pokemon Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. I'm gonna put the volume a bit louder. Oh, uh, ain't no way y'all talking about Pokemon Cafe. Come on. Come on now, yo. Come. Yo, come on now. Oh, they really talk about the mobile game, bro. Oh. Puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements with which you can mix, link, and blast puzzle icons. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I actually played this game. It's cute. I like, I like this game. It's actually fun on mobile, though. There will be tons of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix and new dress up options. You'll also find more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokemon, so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Pokemon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. Huh? Cafe Remix? Master Sex? Oh, they talking about all the mobile games nobody already playing. Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two-year anniversary. Dynamaxing is here. That's the hour I'm going at the gym arrived, seeing you. And, he's and also 18 Eternatus. months I've been Team financing you go if I ask, let's go. Face Eternatus in the legendary event currently underway. How did, how, how did this guy get the dog? To celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players will get the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. Plus, three different legendary events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. N will be returning in a special outfit as part of a Masters sync pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target all opponents with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N as well as other two-year anniversary sync pairs soon. Then, starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. Villainous I feel like waking up this early was a mistake. The story takes a darker turn. You won't want to miss it. We have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. Okay. You won't want to miss it. That's a free tenfold. Pokemon Go. You guys already talked about this, though. Pokemon Go, which is celebrating its fifth anniversary. They're literally rehashing a bunch of shit they already the said. Region appearing in the wild. We already know the this. Ultra Unlock Part 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, 2021. We know this already. At 10 a.m. local time. Oh, Players my God, to see dude. Lulu, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in five-star raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your You're showing us the, the hoop in the game like that shit's currently available right now. That shit was in GoFest, bro. 
Get that shit out of here. We already know this. Next up, we have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. There you go. Get to the meat and potatoes already. Stop playing with my dick. Why is it so zoomed in? The Pokemon could follow you? They could follow you, bro? They could follow you like in like in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Yo? They finally did that shit. They brought it back. Punch that guy in the, in the stomach. You can put stickers on your Pokeballs. Motherfuckers out here gonna be pseudo shining. Okay, I see the drip. The drip! The chibi drip! The contest? Okay. They had a they added mini games and everything. They brought it back to underground. They brought it back! They didn't break it! They kept it in! Oh, and we can make secret bases! They brought it back! The underground! Wait, Pokemon are popping up in the wild? On the overworld? Wait, why were Pokemon in the overworld? Just popping up like that. Team Galactic. You hear the music? Pre-orders. Pre-orders? I'm getting that shit physically. The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. After 15 years, Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. They this showed us a lot of stuff in this in thing. This Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokédex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also
also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, pass down through the generations, and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. This is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. Rourke is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses Rock-type Pokemon. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points along your journey. Gameplay features from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and powered up for these new games. That's great. In the Grand Underground, you can That's participate great. in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. That's it, just statues? There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon Hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. It seems that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully That's fire. the Grand Underground spread out the need That's actually fire. You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs, such as confetti or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. The Chibis ain't looking so bad, huh? One new the Chibis ain't looking so bad, huh? Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Everyone right now, like, is the ability to change your outfit. Chibis ain't looking so bad. I told y'all the Chibis is fine. In super contest shows, you said because they clean it up. Shut your bitch ass up. The music. Shut your bitch ass up. They've been fine. They look exactly the same. A successful show. Stop changing it. Partner Pokemon to really work up the crowd. The Chibis look fine from the start. I was like, just the Chibis are fine. In the Union Room, this release allows you said, nah, they HD not now? only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon You see them frames on that trainers. Chimchar? That Chimchar is 60 frames. You can walk around with any of the Pokemon with, that appear in these games. With any Pokemon. Your journey through Yo, Tanga growth on my ass! Pokemon. I can outrun my Buizu. Encounters with all kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. That's a W. This game is going to be fire. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. We nuzlocke in this shit the second the game comes out. Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released to celebrate the launch oh, of these no, games. Oh no, the scalpers. This special Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up with art of the legendary Pokemon Dialga and Palkia, bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx Dialga and Palkia edition that was released Come back on. in 2006 to align with the original game's launch. It will be available to purchase beginning November 5th, 2021. Look forward to it. That is lazy as shit. That's the exact same design that they put on the 3DS years back. And they literally copy and pasted the exact same shit onto the Nintendo Switch Lite's back. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. That's fucking lazy. Already looking better than Pokemon poured and peeled. Poured and peeled. That Chimchar better not be fucked up with frames. I better not see no dookie frames in this.
That Chimchar better be smooth. The chimps are... What the fuck is that? That's a growling? That's a new growling. That's a that's a different version of growling. That's what kind of World War II ass? The Pokeball threw up a freaking firecracker when it caught the Pokemon. What kind of. This legit. This. This some Breath of the Wild shit. What the fuck is that? Trainer of Tsushi. Okay, I'm not disappointed. Not actual gameplay footage. Wow, we got some art. Okay. January 28th. That's very soon, actually. That was the latest trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by Bro, using action Bro, this should look like RPG Ghost elements. of Tsushima, Monster Hunter Rise, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and a Pokemon game. All at the same time. Shit almost even looked like, um... Towers over the center of the, the land. fucking the Horizon Zero Dawn, like the way she was doing the, the dodge rolls. All sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions, with divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology of Pokemon, 
He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon That's my mentor. various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon This game to ripped you. off Ghost of Tsushima. Anyways, no. can't wait to murder the these new mons court. with my the bare hands. The seem to treat you harshly. Deep down, she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. In Breath the of the Wild region, ass you'll shit! You'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey. You'll black work. out. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. What the You'll hell? Find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, Strong Style and Agile Style. Using a move in the Strong Style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the Strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move, while the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. <coughs> now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. What Pokemon this is that? Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural environment of the Hisui region. It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. Okay. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great majestic wings is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. Lucario just got this fucked. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. 
It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. Bro, the horn on its look like a hentai protagonist. Rock, it breaks easily, so Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story, but what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I'm more excited for Diamond and Pearl than the Arceus. Pre-orders for Pokemon nice. Legends Arceus. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. And they said pre-order. We'd also like to announce in the e of these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Home, the cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible. They're smoking crack cocaine if you're thinking I'm getting these games digitally. Seeing the climate and how how much these fuckers in GameStop resell these games for, I'm getting all these shits. Physically, my guy, as physically. The battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun participating in even more competitive play in the future. Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. Where's Pokemon Sleep? Thank you all for tuning in and watching. That's it. Yup. I mean, what did you guys expect? A Smash Brothers announcement? We knew damn well what the fuck we were coming here for. We came here for this. And now, we go to sleep. We go to sleep. <sighs> Bro, I want to sleep with my Pokemon. Yo, you kind of sus. I don't care what y'all say, bro. That's that's hentai protagonist Growlithe. Everybody on Twitter is like, oh, I think this Growlithe is so cute. Nah, bro. It's hentai protagonist Growlithe. Motherfucker was in that one hentai where they were at the carnival and everybody was putting stickers on themselves saying that they're ready to fuck. Like, anyway, chat, I'm about to go to sleep. Or I'm about to take a nap and then wake up in like an hour again because I woke up super early for this shit. I'll see you guys real soon, all right? Hasta la pasta. See you guys later. Hence, I protagonist Growlithe is best Growlithe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Mm.